Gun and Gamers here, back for driver log number 17, American Truck Simulator. Today we're sitting here in front of the Kennecott Copper Mine here in the great state of Utah. After all these years in the Utah video that I did about three and a half years ago where my guess was Utah was one of the next states based on the roads that were, secret roads rather, that were leading there, we're finally getting Utah. It'll be out later this week. So this past week we've actually drove and unlocked 100% of the roads on Utah already and the number one place people asked me about was this copper mine right here. Everybody wanted to have a look at it and see it so we are going to be at the HMS facility today I guess is what it's called which is a heavy haul or just a, an equipment servicing facility and we're gonna be picking up a heavy haul load out of here today. This is a really nice looking part of Utah and it's kind of a nice place Place that you can get on the dirt roads drive down and pick up some heavy stuff or some lighter loads different trailers and things and drive out of here now just a little backstory on this copper mine uh, people were asking about the pink uh, dump boxes on these dump trucks which I was as well and I guess the rumor is is that the, in real life they had some of their stuff painted up for breast cancer awareness now I don't know if that was true but uh, let me know in the comments if that's what you heard as well I didn't research into it this copper mine is one of the largest copper mines in the world, so it's nice that it was put in by SCS, and it's actually 110 years old. So it's been going for quite some time, and there's actually gonna be a lot more expansions in the future since there's still, even after 110 years, a lot of copper down there. So it's pretty cool that we're able to kind of drive down in it and pick up some loads. Now jumping into the map there, as I said, in about six hours we drove 100% or nearly 100% of all the roads in Utah. We did that over at our channel twitch.tv slash gamers. So make sure you're over there because we're streaming right now nearly every day of the week. We went and covered this in two live streams in two different days this past weekend. I personally can't wait till it's up on multiplayer. I'm looking forward to being able to drive it with the rest of the community. There's a bunch of cities here in Utah. There's Logan, Ogden, Salt Lake City, Provo, Price, Avernal, Moab, Salina, Cedar City, and St. George. I hope I pronounced all those correctly. There's also a handful of garages here in the different towns. I think there's about five or six different garages. We can take a look at that here in just a minute and there's several locations that do uh, spawn heavy hauls and then there's two uh, different super cargoes the super heavy cargo that uh, actually are here as well we'll be doing those in future videos and here's a look at the different garages you can get here st george salt lake city price Vernal and Moab down here all have garages in them. So I guess it's five different garages that are in the state of Utah. I know this one looks like it's in Arizona, but uh, it's just the way it's showing on the map here. There are some other roads that are added on, of course, just outside of Utah so that we're able to connect with the rest of the map. So these are little pieces here that are going to be new chunks of road. You've got one coming out of Vegas. There's a little bit coming out of Page. You've got the 163 and the 191 that kind of run north in Arizona there. Now this area is pretty neat. Probably one of the other nice parts of Utah, you're actually going through the Monument Valley. So those are kind of interesting to look at. Otherwise, you do have quite a bit, believe it or not, and I know it's hard to believe, but to me anyway, you do have quite a bit of city driving here. I didn't really ever feel like in Utah that I was out driving in the very uh, vast open areas. I've been there once in real life and I took away how many hours it took. Uh, we drove all the way across the state caddy corner here. And, and I remember it being very open and desolate, lots of ghost towns. And I just, I didn't really seem to experience that in Utah. I didn't get that feeling anyway. Uh, you might take away something different, but this did seem like there was a lot of towns in, 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 in traffic lights and different things that I came across. That was the feel that I got. Uh, now, there are several towns that do pop up in here as you're driving that don't show up on the map, just like other parts of ATS. So you'll definitely come across those as well. Okay, enough about the map. Let's talk about the load we're going to haul today. We're going to be hauling from HMS Machinery out to Rail Export in Ogden. So we're actually, again, just outside of Salt Lake City at this mine. Uh, the load is going to be 118,500 pounds. It's a bigger load, so that'll be a lot of fun to navigate around these tight turns out of the mine and up the hill. And uh, money and stuff like that we're not really too concerned about. So I'm going to go ahead and resume my delivery on that. 
All right, now that we're back in the cab, before we get the truck started, I do want to remind you to go ahead and make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on those notifications so you know when our next video goes up. And if you do get a chance, give us a like on this video. It helps us out a whole lot. We've got the truck started up here. We're going to go ahead and turn off the park and brake. All right, hear that beautiful engine come alive. We'll pull forward and go over, and uh, hopefully we don't have to work too hard to get this load out. I have a bad feeling it's probably spawned it. It looks like it actually might be inside that building. But we'll find out here in just a second. I chose the W900 on the job today because, I don't know, it just I'm so attached to this truck. I've got 263,000 miles on it now, and I'm, I'm working towards getting that half a million. It's probably my favorite one when it comes to hauling heavy. Yeah, I was right. Oh boy. Look at that. And it's even levitating. Well, it's not going to be as heavy as I thought. Now, we noticed that in our Twitch live stream that all the loads are floating in here until you drive up to them and then they end up going onto the ground. I haven't seen any damage or anything associated to that weird phenomenon, but... That is a thing that I've not seen, and I don't know if it's a bug from 136 or what, but... Uh, 136 has added some nice features. There's some grain trailers and some different things that have been added in. And, uh... They've given us the ability to see our drivers on the map. That's not something that I'm going to be... There it goes. It just drops down there. You can see the mirror there. I'm not... I don't have any drivers, so I won't be using that at all as far as seeing my drivers on the map, but I bet that'll be kind of neat. Make it more immersive. All right, we'll put on the parking brake here. I'm going to go ahead and attach the trailer. See the jacks going up. There we go. Uh, there's some other things, too. They've done some improvements with anti-aliasing and uh, maybe the rendering or graphics or something like that. I actually... Um, Drawing a blank on that, but there, there's been some general graphical improvements. Oh, I know, uh, DirectX 11. And yeah, we better get our lights on here, too. Turn on the actual lights. And the beacons are going to come on since we're hauling a big heavy. Yeah, DirectX 11 support is in here now. All right, this, okay, this is going to be something. Uh, so we're going to probably, you know what I'm going to do? I think... I think I'm gonna back up a little bit. It actually looks like it won't be too hard here because we got quite a bit of room to pull out to our right and then swing around and then head out that way. But I think I'm gonna try to get just a little bit of extra here to swing over. You gotta be careful here. We don't wanna hit the post. I'm gonna get kinda close to that side there. We gotta get into first person so we can be legit. Too legit to quit. There we go. All right, hopefully there's no collision walls out here or anything. I don't think there is. It looks like we're out. Oh, that was easier than what I thought it was gonna be. No problem at all. See, I like that one. Some of them coming out of those buildings can be quite a challenge. Get the hell out of this guy. He didn't even flinch. Oh, these workers, they don't seem to ever pay any attention to me. That's all right. As long as you guys are paying attention to me, that's just fine. Okay, we got to make sure we don't clip anything on the way out of here now. I try to drive in these videos very carefully so that there's no proof of any bad driving techniques on YouTube. Uh, because Lord knows there's plenty of it on our Twitch channel. You guys are always poking fun at me whenever I'm running into stuff. So I have to prove that I can drive. And my track IR is not, uh, not functioning right now either. I have it on, but we're getting, uh, getting a little glitch out of it. So I'm going to run with that out that today. Okay, we're going to swing it real wide here now. Just like that. There we go. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, swung right around that post. No problem. Now we get to come up to this beautiful view. We're going to have to swing real wide here now. 
All right, we'll pop to the third person view here and just look at that beautiful view and uh, kind of swung over wide here so we don't take out these garbage cans. Hopefully we don't need our diff lock on either because I did not turn that on today. I don't think we're going to get stuck. It hasn't seemed to be a problem on the roads in Utah or really any other state for that matter. For the most part, there's that one hill climb in Oregon that definitely will test you, but this hasn't seemed to be too bad. Now, I haven't seen too much dirt road driving in Utah, and you've seen on my map there, I've driven nearly every road. Uh, I found one or two secret roads that were dirt, and they were just kind of like shortcut throughs, but I haven't come across anything else. And I'm not uh, denying there's probably not more to discover on the secret roads. I just haven't had the time to go and look at them. But I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't get a whole lot more of the off-road kind of driving because it seemed like they were really going that route with Oregon and and uh, also with Washington. I thought, well, Utah is very desolate in real life compared to those states, so we should be getting a bunch of that. There's not been too much. And we're definitely working it here in fourth. Drop down a gear. Now it's working coming out of there. There's a little area there that you can drive through and do a swing around there. I don't think we'd make it today, but there's a, a little spot to get a view. There's a school bus sitting down there and some news people. All right. Looks like I got my high beams on, but I don't. Okay, so this 119,000 pound load pulled out of there pretty easy. Ooh. Kind of jaking down there. This is a heavy one. Jump up in the five low. And slowing it down again. You can really feel the weight of this load right now. We gotta stop for this gate. I wish they would just open it ahead of time, but apparently they gotta check our papers. I'm gonna pull up a little bit farther here. Come on, dude. This guy's giving me a hard time. I'm gonna have to hit it? Maybe I went to the wrong side. Uh, something's not, <laughs> something's not working. This is the way I went through the last time I went out of here, and it was no problem. Oh, there we go. Well, that was quite odd. I was going to say, I, I went through this uh, way last time. I think either way is fine. This lane or that lane, I don't think it matters. Okay, well, it looks like we're doing okay getting through. And, oh, I got to go right here, don't I? Okay. I'm going to swing out a little bit into this other lane. Hey, we got a school bus coming. Ah, uh, they're not in any hurry to get anywhere. It is about that time in the morning all the school buses are going. I don't want to get stuck behind a school bus. I'd rather make the kids late for school. Okay, so in, uh, if you're wondering also why we're in the W900 and not one of the modded trucks, well, because the W900 is just as good as a modded truck. Actually, I believe it is. Uh, it is one of my favorite. It's because SCS has asked us in this early access look not to use any mods. So we're not allowed to use mods while doing early access because they don't want, you know, mods to be causing issues with the game or crashing. And that's very understandable. So we're going to run vanilla and uh, I'm, I may or may not put any more videos up. I think I'm going to probably record... Uh, going to say I may not put any videos up until release date and I think I'm probably going to just go ahead and record uh, with the Mac R or something like that. I really want to do some of those special heavies. I think they'd be quite a bit of fun and uh, we might run something like that and then I'll just wait till the, it's uh, out before we put those videos up. Which might end up being the case anyway because I mean you might not see this video until release day uh, because we are so busy right now. We've got so many games coming out with Red Dead Redemption, uh, we've got Planet Zoo, and of course now Utah all coming out 
in the same week here. It's a very, very busy week around Gun and Gamers. And as you heard me say, I've been streaming almost every day for the past month. I think there was one we missed. Um, and it's just been crazy. Some days I've been doing more than one stream. So there's a pretty good chance if you turn on our Twitch page, you'll see us live. And if not, there's definitely you know, 30, 40 hours, uh, at least a week of content for you to watch. So I've just been absolutely slamming the content up for everybody to cover all these games. We've played some, through some really awesome stuff, you know, the Platinum with farming. We just over Halloween did a game called The Beast Inside and got through the story of that in a couple days. That was one of the best games I've played in a long time and probably will go down as I'd say it would be the best game of 2019 that I've put my hands on, except Red Dead Redemption is going to be pretty awesome. I already know that. So, pretty exciting stuff. Amazing story. And those VODs are all up on our Twitch channel. So do, uh, do check those out. But I've just been incredibly busy with Twitch. And I know people are always asking about our YouTube. And I am going to, you know, continue to put videos up over here. But i'm uh always you know trying to keep both things going and of course twitch itself just takes us a lot of time and effort and i enjoy being on twitch to uh to keep connected to all of you so uh it's just nice when i can stream you guys are there talking and we're interacting together as a community so do check that out and um come hang out with us our discord is also a place to come and meet other people we've got a lot of people that are in trucking daily on our discord we've got a really awesome vtc we were the number one in 2018 and i know a lot of us have been focusing on other games this year but there's still a very active group of people that are trucking daily in our vtc and i'm gonna break the law because i feel like it i'm gonna go through that red there so there is a lot going on in our VTC as well, and you can find the links for everything, our Discord, our Twitch, our VTC down below. And uh, if you're in our Discord and you're in our D VTC, you'll actually see every time you run a load, it'll show up on our Discord in a log channel, and you can see all the stats and details and, and along with everybody else's loads. So it's pretty awesome to see that as you're trucking along. And uh, we're all cheering each other on to keep on going, keep on rolling. Okay, so grabbing some gears here as we get onto the interstate. This is going up the 15. This is a nice little chunk of road that goes from Los Angeles. And I'm drawing a brain part where it stops it's somewhere in montana or idaho obviously we don't have those states right now but in the future when we get those states and i'd say idaho looks very likely right now is the next possible state we've got lots of roads running right up into it um when it does come we will be able to run a nice stretch of interstate 15 all the way up there i know i'll be doing that shot a lot Still my favorite part of trucking by far is American trucking on Interstate 5 and Interstate 40. Those are, I mean, those two roads right there combined make my favorite, or, or even like getting off on the 8 or the 10, uh, just doing those long stretches from Washington all the way out to the other side of New Mexico are absolutely my favorite part of trucking. And unfortunately, Utah doesn't fit in with being able to add more road onto that drive uh, like Oregon and Washington did and of course New Mexico a few years ago added it onto that little stretch uh, so you don't get that benefit out of Utah but you do have some other roads that it's adding and it's giving you an alternative way to kind of cut across from like Oregon or Washington let's say and getting out to Arizona or Utah uh, sorry uh, New Mexico so once we get another state like Texas, that's gonna obviously really add on to that drive and make it even more insane. Right now it takes two and a half hours real life to get across. Uh, and of course load depending, you can do it a few minutes faster if you're running you know, nearly 80. Uh, you can, it'll take you longer if you're doing 65 with a contract load. 
and missing my track IR here. I was trying to look out of my mirror, but okay, we're good. Get that Jake on. There we go. There we go. So yeah, there's uh, there is that one little small part of Utah that uh, leaves me wishing that I could go more places. And it's not Utah's fault. And it's not anything SCS did. It's just you know the way the map works. Uh, you know Utah's now in the corner of the map and. It's adding on to some roads like 15, Interstate 15, and a few other highways and, and whatnot. So that's a positive. And uh, it's laying the groundwork for what is to come. And now, I know myself, whoa, I almost didn't stop. I know myself, as long, uh, along with many other people, have really wanted to have like Colorado, things like that. Colorado was out there, uh, you know, of course it was above New Mexico, but it had this gap in the middle called Utah and Now Utah's out. So this is definitely a piece of the, the, the puzzle that's missing and that's that's I guess the thing I think I like best about Utah is not just that it's Utah, but it's 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 creating filling in a piece of the map rather that we needed to be able to get out to those other states so Something to definitely look forward to and SCS is really cranking up the production here I mean, we're now down to like every five months. We're getting a new state. The last one of course was uh, Well, it's the beginning of November now So it was the beginning of June when we got Washington before that was maybe six or seven months when we uh, When we had Oregon and before that was a year so you can see that they went from a uh, from New Mexico New Mexico was a year or more or two something like that and then we had you know a year to Oregon uh, which was October of yeah 18 gosh where's time going Washington come out in June of 19 and now November of 19 here we are with Utah so they are definitely cranking up the, the rate of production which is good so if they're keeping with that trend, I hope I don't wipe some cars out here. Oh, that burger looks good on that truck. If they keep this up, that means by late spring, we'll be getting another part of the map. So hopefully in the next few months, we'll already find out about it. And then we'll have something really exciting to look forward to. If it is Colorado, it's going to add some roads going uh, east out Interstate 80. And if it happens to be Idaho, we can look forward to a longer stretch going up the 15. And there's a, some other roads there that I'm not mentioning, but that's just an idea of some of the things to look forward to. And of course, of course, if it's Texas, if it's Texas, you can look forward to lots of different highway to be added on. Uh, there's two other possibilities that I think we can all write off is not going to happen next and that would be Oklahoma because there's only just a little sliver of it touching New Mexico and I don't even know if there's roads that go directly through there in real life. I have to look at the map again, but I just don't see that happening and then obviously uh, Wyoming is in the very corner of Utah now and I don't just don't see them throwing Wyoming on there and leaving so much around it that's not. So I think we can write those two states off. So we know it's going to be Idaho, it's going to be Colorado, or it's going to be Texas. And I don't know which one I want more. Colorado maybe for the scenery. Texas for the amount of roads and long hauls that we can do are probably the one that I want the most. But I don't know. And then Idaho would also be like Colorado. The, the scenery would be amazing and it would connect up Washington, Oregon, and Utah. So that would be really awesome to have that as well. And uh, I think between Idaho and Colorado, you get about the same amount of roads. Texas obviously would be the champ on, on amount of roads. You have a lot of places. You'd have lots of interstates and you know, Interstate 35 and 10 and all kinds of other stuff. This is a really neat little place here as we're driving. And uh, you can see the train station with some flags up there. Being in town, looks like we're hauling over right here to this railroad yard and I'm going to have to really focus on where I'm dropping this load today. So I know a lot of people have been asking also about 
Salt Lake City, and uh, we'll kind of just drove around it a little bit today. Um, sure, we'll have lots more videos covering that, and um, obviously the live streams we're, we've already gone through it and all over around it, and we'll be doing more of it. So if you have something you want to see, you know what to do. Come over to Twitch and ask, or you can leave a comment in the comment section below and say, I'd really like to see more of this or more of that, and I can try to fit that in. And another thing you could ask to have more of is more decent driving. Oh, I can't believe this. You know, I've done this so many times where I've pulled in this place and I've just wiped out that fence. And here we are today doing it again. I'm gonna go in a third person so we can see this mess. Okay, so I backed up a little bit and cleared up my mess, but now we know we gotta swing real wide over here. There we go. So it's a little bit of a short run today, but I wanted to just kind of show what that mine was all about since, like I said, all weekend I had dozens of people coming in asking, have you seen the mine yet? Have you seen the copper mine? So I thought, well, let's, let's do a video on that copper mine. Oh, I'm probably going to have to get over a little bit to the left here. Oh, hopefully I didn't mess that up. We're looking for solid green. Not looking good, is it? It's not looking bad. Oh, there we go. All right, we got it there. I was worried. I didn't know if I got over enough. Up to the third person view and hit the button on our button box by ASP. If you're interested in one of those button boxes, folks, in the link down below, you will see our link. You can use the code GUNNIN10, or GUN10, sorry, on that to save 10% on a button box over at ASP. Also got the links for Butt Kicker and the discounts. Use the code GUNNINGAMERS if you're interested in one of those awesome butt kickers that definitely make trucking a lot of fun and a lot more immersive. So here we've got the base reward and all that. I mean, not really, again, caring too much about all this today. I'm a divine champion when it comes to this game i guess uh we won't get our uh, egos inflated too much there but yeah driving over and uh going across utah has been just a real pleasure it's been a lot of fun another state in the books and we'll definitely be looking forward to what is next from ats but we don't want to get uh thinking too hard here because there's a lot of miles to cover in utah so we want to Try to cover all this in the next several upcoming live streams and of course once truckers mp hits this you folks know where my heart is it's online in multiplayer i don't do a lot of single player these days i'm gonna see if i can back up over here and catch a little bit of a nap before we get to in the next one there look at that we slid right in nobody will even notice we're here but yeah, we definitely want to get in and do some more. We'll be on twitch.tv slash gamers, Haul in a lot more loads. And of course, once this hits multiplayer, get ready. We'll be in it. We'll be streaming in it. And we'll be driving together, having a good time. All the important links are down below, folks. So make sure you go down there and hit us up. Get in our Discord. Follow me on Twitter so you know all the updates and news happening around the community. I thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, take care.